For years, my master the prisoner of the sight of the bones and the war. He had become a fine swordsman and his training was now almost complete. But why train if he was to stay in the safety of his home forever? My master was restless. It was time to move on, time to take his first step into manhood. His muscles yearned for action, his heart sought adventure, his soul craved combat. What up guys, it's your boy Hooper, and welcome back, well not welcome back, welcome to I should say, see I still got the other series we just got done doing stuck in my head here, anyway, welcome to Mark of the Cry, I know this isn't The Last of Us 2, but I'll eventually get it, I'll eventually get it, don't worry about that, I know I, know I said that that'll be the next game we get into, but I just don't have I just don't have the money for it right now if I'm being truthfully honest with you I just don't have the money for it right now so in its place until I get it we are going to play mark of cry and days gone we're gonna switch between the two like we did with Mortal Kombat and the out and uh, outlast 2 okay anyway let's get into the mark of cry or Cree, however you want to say it. I know there will be some grammar Nazis out there. You're saying it wrong. Well, I don't really care. I'll say it how I want to say it. I guess we'll talk to this guy. Why am I stuck? Okay. I guess we'll talk to this guy. You want a train, boy? There's still a trick or two. I can teach you about swords. Well, what does this other guy got to say first? Uh, it won't work, huh? Uh, I don't know. Business has been slow lately, boy. People tell me bandits have made our neighboring forest their home. Anyone trying to get here is being robbed, or worse. It's made Balmusa nervous. He thinks it's the beginning of dark times. I think they just need a good kicking before they'll move on to someone else's forest. Hmm. Balmusa tells me you've become pretty good with that sword of yours. Maybe you could... Ah. Well, maybe I've got some other work around here you could do. Uh, how about washing down some tables for me, or uh, mopping the floor? Well, maybe you can help Tasha clean dishes, or, or sweep up, or pick up after her. She's kind of a mess herself. People keep flushing more objects. Nah, bruh. See how he's started zoning you out? Nah, ain't nobody want to do that. See, Bamusa... Ba Baumsu to train or head to the door to clear out the local rooms. We're gonna train, and then we'll go do those rooms. Yeah, I know you said that already, bro. We're gonna train. Simple yet important is defense. To defend against a strike from any direction, just hold the R1 button. Try it now. R1 button. There we go. Now let's beat on the gummies. The key to the craft is in learning to exact your strike. To do this, you must use the right analog stick to direct your focus and select the card. Point the right analog stick in the direction of the dummy or dummies you want to select. You can also sweep the stick around. Use the right analog stick now to focus on all of the dummies. On all the dummies? Your attention is now focused on the dummies. The dummy with the X above his head is your main target. For now, you can maneuver around by using the directional stick. Try not to get close to him. Back in the way. The directional stick. To attack this dummy, press the X button. You will find that attacking the enemy from in close provides a fast hit, while attacking from a distance provides a more reaching attack. Okay, well, can I do it? No. Okay. Why did it take so long for you to say I could do it? Now press the X button four times for an attack combo. Try to attack combo now. 
That was pretty dope. <laughs> well done. Had that been a real, he would surely be dead. You can now attack another dummy. Before attacking the dummy with a circle above his head, notice that he is far away. If the enemy is too far away to strike, you will see that his icon is transparent, meaning you will only face it when pressing the attack button. Try striking the enemy now by pressing the circle button. Before you try and strike the dummy with a square above his head, notice that his icon is also transparent, meaning he is too far away to strike. Move closer to the square target so that you can strike it. Try it now. All right, bro. Now, son, and the target is now in attack mode. Press the square button to attack the dummy. Try it now. I got this. Equally important is the ability to break your focus. To break focus, press in on the rock analog stick. Good. You would now be able to redirect your focus and select new targets. Now let's try something a little tougher. What? If you focus on only two enemies, you can do more elaborate and powerful attacks on the enemy. Show me. By using Show the me. To modify your attack. God. This guy talks so much. By aiming the right analog stick. The dummies are assigned to the X and square buttons, leaving the circle button open as an attack modifier. Really? To use an attack modifier, you must first press the button of the target you are facing, followed by the modifier. Let's give it a try. Press the X button, followed by the modifier. In this case, the circle button, to do a more elaborate and powerful combo attack. Okay. Just de I just decapitated that dummy. That enemy would be dead. What? No, really. Let's try an attack you can only do when you are focused on a single enemy. Press X, followed by a modifier, then the next modifier. In this case, that's X square circle, or X circle square. Try it now. That was pretty lit. That, that, was, that was pretty good. For this, you will need your bird. Your spirit guide, Kujo. Can we get a bird? Kujo takes a purpose. Kujo? You will be able to use his vision and prepare for what lies ahead. To find these birds, look for a beam of light that shines on a bird icon. Watch that. That's a pretty Set dope bird. bird icon in your view, and it will begin to spin. You may then press L2 to send off Kujo. Try finding the perch and sending Kujo now. What did he say? Oh. So it's kind of like, uh... Assassin's Creed's bird. Assassin's well, Creed's origin. Uh, origin's bird. Stick to look around. Look around till you see the light beam shining on the next bird icon. Send to the bird icon in your view, so it begins to spin. Once it is spinning, press L2 to set it cruiser. I mean, Assassin's Creed Origins bird, you had a lot more freedom and control in him, but same concept. He spots things Very out for you. Done. You've had a good look around, but you now need to prepare for what you see. Press the triangle button to return to your vision. You can now move okay. freely while Kuzo remains on his perch. Be aware that Kuzo will return to your side when you get too far away. To see what trouble you are heading into, you may need to use his vision again. Press the triangle button again to use Kuzo's vision. Then press triangle one more time to regain control of yourself. Try it now. Where are we at? Oh, look at that! We can see ourselves. Can we fly back over there? Can't. Now, you've learned much here today and should be rewarded for your efforts. But first, I must know that you've learned well. Apply these skills in your first mission. Well, that was pretty cool. To remind you of my challenge, press the start button at any time and choose Bambushu's challenge. Try it now. Okay, start. 
Uh, let me see your challenge. Okay. Stick around and practice as you like. You may discover more of what you've been taught. Or head back to the inn. And right. Come to see me before each new mission. And I'll see two of you are prepared for the job. Really? Oh, yeah, I guess we'll go back to the inn. I mean, there ain't nothing else for him to teach us. Okay, there we go. How did we block again? That's the main thing. Alright, R1. Oh, those are our other weapons, is what it looks like. Yeah, that is our other weapons. Because that looks like a bow right there. Not sure what those other ones are. Watching out for you and your family. He knows many things, including languages long since extinct. If he attempts to read symbols or words, listen to him. If he thinks it important to tell you, trust that it is something you should know. That's a good hint. That is a really good hint. I should probably actually listen to that bird whenever we get to that point. Can I kill that pig? Is that a thing? Or is he like a pet pig? Keeps running away. Man. Oh, so this is like the sneaking mode. There are items in the world that okay. you can use to your advantage, Rao. They will always have the symbol of the triangle button above. Anything over here? Standing next to them and pressing this button will allow you to use them. Alright, bro, I get it. Or oh, not even close to it. Alright, let's go back to the end. Oh, this guy should let us go do the bandits now. Hey, you want work, huh? Uh, I don't know. Business has been slow lately, boy. Well, is he gonna tell us People the same thing? Made our neighboring forest their I think he's gonna tell us the same thing. Anyone trying to get here is being robbed. Or worse. It's made Bamusa nervous. He thinks it's the beginning of dark times. I think they just need a good kicking before they'll move on to someone else's forest. Hmm. Well, Moose tells me you've become pretty good with that sword of yours. Maybe you could. Ah. Yeah, he's just telling well, us the same thing. We'll just skip. So then. I guess we go back out the door. Cleaning the floor and washing dishes. Ah. This was not the kind of work my master was looking for. He was young and in search of adventure, freeing the land from murderous bandits. Now that was a job worthy of a warrior. He left that same day, his sword strapped to his back. Kuzo, his spirit guide, scouting the path ahead. The bandits had been terrorizing the local roads for months now. Rao had heard that they were camped out on some local ruins. He had also heard that they were many in number and skilled as swordsmen. <laughs> Good. Good. Hmm. Master did not want this to be too easy. Okay, alright. Alright. Is there any spots for my bird? Don't see any right now. Okay. We'll try to keep an eye out for those. Because those do come in handy since he scouts out the area. I want up there. Nah, okay. I already knew that. Why are you telling me that? Is there one nearby? Well, there's one right there. That's why. Look around, fly to another perch by centering one in your view and pressing the L2 button to gain control over Rayu by pressing the triangle button. Okay. So we got two swords, one sword, three sword guys. Oh, there's another one up there. So in total, there's four guys. We'll move him over here. 
just to get a better view. See what we're working with here. Okay, so there's a horn over there. We should probably try to take out that horn real quick. Because if, if he blows that horn, he'll bring in reinforcements. I know that for sure. And we don't want that. So there's... Oh, wow. I don't think we can kill that guy first. Oh, yes, we can. We'll just have to run over there up to that ladder and get him before he blows the horn. We'll see how this works out. They might just spot us right off the bat. Challenge one. What do you mean by challenge one? Oh, okay. That's what I thought. It was Bamusu's challenge. Ooh! Oh, wow! Oh! That was pretty brutal, man. I'm not gonna lie, that was, that was kinda brutal. So there's another guy up here, right? Hard surface, so it was best to avoid fighting near walls. His feet when it takes damage, the bar starts at green, comes red when Rose near death. Press the R2 button or enter. Exit the pause menu, check Rose health or set. Rose health to always show health and pause menu. Am I seriously was I really hitting the stairs? Pretty sure I was hitting the stairs there. Okay, they're all dead. So we're gonna go up here. We gotta make sure we take out that horn guy, or he's definitely gonna call in reinforcements. Oh, too late. I actually. I think he calls in reinforcements anyway, because. I didn't even get a. I wasn't even that close to him. I mean, I just got up the ladder is what I'm trying to say, so I think... Okay. So, we bounce off hard objects, and we get stuck to wood. Okay, that's that's pretty realistic. Oh. Okay, but... What we are gonna do... I said it was an options, right? Oh, not sound, gameplay. I think we're gonna always show health just so we know where we're at. I think that'll help. That way we're not guessing the whole time. Because we have to pause to check our health if we don't have it always on. So that's kind of annoying. So we're just gonna keep it always on. So there's I'm at, there's a guy up there. Ooh, what's that? Is that a scroll? A saving scroll or what? Okay. Okay. So basically, we only get how many we find in the level. So I found one. If I use it now, then that's it. Until I find another one. Okay, I get it. Does it automatically do it? Okay, yeah. I pressed X, that's why I asked if it automatically did it. Coming for you. Coming for you. To perform combos. Like, yeah, I already knew that. That's what the training was for, bro. Ow. Let's be sure to 
to your next attack button quickly. Keep in mind that not all combo points will be so fast. Study your attacks to find your combos. Challenge 5. What are these challenges that he keeps assigning me? Okay, defend 6 attacks from 6 different enemies. Okay. I'm not really sure what the challenges reward me, so do I want to do them, or? I guess we'll find out if we do complete them. This looks like a spot I'm going to die at, so I think, I think we're going to use that scroll. Because this looks like a spot that we're I'm going to die at. Wait, why am I not blocking? Okay, there we go. I don't know why I wasn't blocking the first time. Because I was pressing it. But at least we're blocking now, which is good. Was that the perch he was already on? No, it wasn't. Okay, scout him out for me, bud. Where are they all at? Where are they at? Ooh, what's that over there? Oh, we'll send you over there. What's over here? Okay, I see one enemy. There's one. Is that it? Is that, is that all the enemies over here? Yeah, I think that's all the enemies. But I want to know what that thing is up there. But I, I'm pretty sure we have to go that way anyway, so. Okay, that's a spot to climb. I'm guessing that's the right way. Has to be. Because this looks like a dead end up here. Come at me, bro. Come at me. Camera view behind row at any time. Okay, that comes in handy. Ow. We're hitting objects again, man. We gotta watch out what we're swinging at. Not very good at that. Greatest reward. Save found items. Okay, that's probably a good idea to do. Okay. Gonna go back over here. Hopefully there's a bird thing over here so I know where they're at. There should be. Because why would there not be? I think I got a key? Oh, he had an horn. He had a horn. Oh god, that's kind of bad. That's bad. Come on, turn my camera. Thank you. Oh god. Oh. Ooh. Damn. That was good though, that was good. Get this guy. Okay. What's this, another save scroll? Okay. I'm not sure, should we save again? I don't know if we should save again. I guess we'll scout it out and see if, what's all good, see what all the enemies are at. There's three. That are visible. What is that? I don't know what that is. I guess we're gonna find out when I pick it up. Oh 
Come at me. Come at me, bro. Come at me. Come at me, bro. Okay, well, you didn't put up a good challenge. Other guys over here? Oh, there's a door right there. Oh, God. Yeah, I think we should have saved. I don't like when there's a door there. It's just, just a random door that we have no idea what's going to come out of. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. I think we should have saved. Maybe. I think we'll be fine as long as I time my attacks right and block off. Yeah, I think we'll be fine if I do that. Ooh, that was pretty good. Wow. I didn't expect myself to lunge that far. Cut his arm off, bro. Okay, we're gonna go over here. Try to figure out what this thing is. What is this thing? Oh! Gave us full health. Okay. Okay. So that's another thing we need to keep our eye out for then. We'll send the bird over there. What do we got? What do we got? We got a horn guy. What's in front of that horn guy? Hmm. Okay. What the heck? Just closed behind me? So what, what, what was the point? If it, the door was just gonna close behind me and he calls it anyway. What was the point when he was just gonna blow it anyway and the door closes behind me? Such a, ooh. Oh, I missed that one, man. I would have got that one if I was just a little bit faster. Ow, ow. Gotta be careful with these guys. Ow. Come at me, bro. That first one put up more of a challenge. I'm just kidding. That one actually did. That first one we killed pretty easy. Why did I do that? Now we gotta return to where this guy real quick. Okay. There's another health thing over here. Won't grab it unless we need it. I don't know. We're, oh, we're hitting the wall. We need to get away from that wall. Ooh. Ow! Quit hitting me with the sword, bro! Get- Sit down! That's what I thought. Oh god, one of these guys. Come at me then! What? What? Oh wow, you were- you were pretty easy compared to the other ones. What's this? Health capacity increased? Is that what that said? I think that's what that said. So, did we still get full health? I think we did. Oh, yeah, because we can't grab that, so. Guess we got full health. So, so, where do we go now? Oh, I'm guessing towards where these enemies are. Video games taught me anything. Go where the enemies are. Going the right way when you see enemies. Nah, bro. Nah. 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 That's what I thought. What is waiting for us up here? Okay. Um. I think we're going to save again. Just in case. Because you never know, man. Just in case. Resume. Can I send the bird? Come on. There we go. Send the bird. Okay. 
That is a really cool looking bird though. Wow. What? I just sent the bird. Where'd you guys see me? Which one of you saw me, bro? Which one of you? Doesn't matter, because I'm the last thing you're gonna see. Is sit down. Lay down. That's what you get. For coming into my forest. Ow. Thinking you can come into my forest. Who do you think you are, punk? Dang, your guard game is weak, bro. One of these behemoths. Come at me. Come at me. Ow. Come at me, bro. That's what I thought. Psh, that was easy. Small fry. Need a bigger challenge? What's coming through there? We're sending the bird up there. What is this? Oh, he can do levers too? I like this bird. I like him. I like this bird. Can I pet that bird? Can I pet that bird? Can I pet that bird? I'm gonna pet that bird. Press triangle. Okay, alright, alright. I see, I see. Whoo! What is waiting in here? Death! That's what. Okay, get you. Stop moving, bro! Start blocking. We gotta really start blocking more. Cause that is what's gonna save our lives. That is what's gonna save our life. Come on, come on. Oh, we missed it. Don't grab that yet. Oh, is that another one? Okay, considering that there's another one, we'll just grab this one. Oh, wow. Hi, how you guys doing? There's, there's three of you. Wow. Okay, just got a block. Oh, God. Ow! Ow! This isn't fair, bro. This isn't fair. I'm just one guy. Okay, one's down. Just got you punks to deal with. Get him, get him, get him! Get him! Uh, yeah! Okay, he's down, he's down, he's down. We just got this one to deal with. Come at me, bro! Come at me! That's what I thought. Is that it? What's happening? What does that mean? Did we complete it? Oh. I think we completed it. Okay. My master returned home in triumph. The neighboring forest had been cleared of bandits, and people were once more free to travel. The delighted innkeeper praised Rao's courage. He was a happy man. Soon business would be turned to normal. Weeks passed, and word of my master's skills as a swordsman spread far. Rao enjoyed his newfound fame. <laughs> Though the stories were becoming a little exaggerated by his sister, who would recount them to anyone who would listen. Soon, Rao's mind began to drift once more in the hope of adventure. He would not have to wait long. That doesn't sound good at all. I ain't gonna lie. He doesn't have to wait long. Yeah, that doesn't sound good to me. Um, should we talk to you? No. Bro, no. You're. I don't need anybody to watch over because uh, you're probably gonna die. What is this guy I want? Good day to you, sir. 
I heard that you are the young man responsible for running off the thieves and bandits that plagued this area in recent times. Oh, good job, good job. Uh, allow me to introduce myself. I am Arupu, a cleric and guardian of sacred land east of here. Oh, at least I was. Recently, bandits, similar to the ones you so gracefully dispatched, beat me and threw me out of my home. I watched as they broke apart graves and ancient tombs, scattering the contents. I thought they were thieves looking for gold, but once they found none, they would leave me in peace. When they found what they were looking for, not gold, just a scroll of old leather. They did not leave. Sir, I am the custodian of this place, and have failed in my duty to protect it. Now all I want is my home back. Can you please help rid me of this menace? I have no money, no treasures to offer as payment. Just the knowledge that this is a just cause, and the promise that the gods will favor any who come to my aid. I also have a bow. Why do they have such big noses? Many moons north of here that I will gladly give you upon your return. It is not worth a great deal, but does far, far and true. Okay, well we're not gonna do that yet. There's other people to talk to. Come on, just go upstairs. So what's this guy gotta say up here? This is the sage. See him for replaying levels, checking rewards, and for accessing cheats. Really? Didn't we get a reward in the other? I thought we got a reward in the in that level we just did. Did we? Didn't we? Yeah, because we picked up that one reward. Well, we don't have any outfits. Is it the movies and art? How do we tell what we got? Okay, I'm guessing it's movies and art because that's the only thing that's we have. I like his dogs though. Those are some cute puppies. Some cute puppies. Some cute puppies. Can I pet that dog? I want to pet that dog. Can I pet that dog? Okay, we're going to go back down here. Oh, my God. I'm stuck on the... Okay. Already talked to him. I think he might have more training for us. What do you got to say, barkeep? Can I not talk to you yet? What do you got to say, barkeep? Come on, barkeep. I'm over here. Barkeep. Oh, my God. Bartender. Well, business is doing much better now. Thanks, Thanks to you, you man. man. Oh, by, oh, by the, the way, way uh, Claire over there. there. You? Really? I already know. I already talked to him anyway, so uh, don't yell at me. Oh, yeah, we'll do some more training, bro. What's wrong with some training? We'll do some more training. We gotta Whenever do some more training. It is one and satisfied to vanquish your enemy with stealth. This is to kill silently with no harm done to yourself. To do this, you should be as quiet as possible, and so you must put away your weapon. Hold R2 and move the cursor to the hand icon to put away your weapon. R2, okay. With your weapon That's what I thought! This is stealth mode! You can now sneak up on enemies and kill with stealth. This dummy is facing the other way, unaware of your presence. Focus on him by pointing the right analog stick in the direction of the dummy. And I will teach you to kill with stealth. All right, bro, let's do this. The direction stick to sneak up behind the enemy. When you are very close, you will notice that the flashing X icon stops flashing and becomes solid, and that it is time to press X to do a stealth attack. Well, you know, I figured that we had to remove, like, move the analog. Thanks for uh, telling me that. Ooh, that was pretty vicious, man. 
The dummy even had a cracking now, sound like the neck. You, you will be forced to fight and have little time to make decisions. Keep in mind that you can tap the R2 button to quickly pull out the last weapon you have. Really? Now that you have the basics, you can try and stealth kill two dummies. Move ahead to the two dummies standing side by side. Focus on these two dummies by pointing the right analog stick in the direction of the dummies. Notice how both buttons flash in a sequence. Press lightly on the directional stick to sneak up behind the X target. When you're very close, you will notice that the icons glow fully. It is now time to perform the attack sequence. In this case, it is X, then circle square. Well, I kind of figured that much, bro. I think in a real situation, I'm pretty sure that guy would have noticed, but that's just me. Well done. One more lesson. We should be finished for now. If you have the opportunity to hide behind the wall, as an enemy standing to the side, of it, or even about to walk past, you can still attack him with stealth. I'll show you. How. Move ahead to the wall now. Hey, I'm going. Okay. You can now use the directional stick to sneak along the wall to get to the corner. While still backed up against the wall, aim the right analog stick at the dummy to make him talk. Well, what did you think I was gonna do, bro? Close enough for the X icon to glow solid. Press X. That's pretty brutal. Ain't gonna lie. Good, good. You are ready, Raul. But I must leave you with this one. Raul? I was saying Raul. Can we really not get this pig? You need to move fast and cut on Press the R1 button as the enemy strikes. And if you're quick, you may be able to disarm the wretch and gain time to draw a weapon. Keep that in mind. And remember to come see me before your next hour. And I'll see to it. You are prepared with special skills for the job. Really? Okay, we'll go back in the end. Can we not go back in the end? There we go. Okay. So... We talked to everybody here, so I guess we'll go do the mission. Someone in need had requested my master's help. His years of training at Baumusu's side were finally being put to good use. His heart swelled with pride. But who were these bandits the holy man had spoken of? Could they be from the same group he had just encountered? Mauruku had warned him that there were many bandits guarding his home, many more than he had just defeated in his last adventure. The cleric cautioned him to be careful. He would have to use stealth and silently dispatch as many enemies as possible. He thanked the gods that he had his spirit guide to show him the dangers that lay ahead. Hmm. All right, let's go, my bird companion. I don't know why I keep suddenly stopping. Where's it sending me at? Where? I already know, I did training, bro. Ooh, yeah. Hear that crack. Yes, yes. I already know. Stop telling me stuff I already know. Send him up there. Okay, that guy's around the corner. Because it popped up, so obviously he was going to be around the corner since it popped up right there. There you go, the 
corner on this side. There we go. Come here, Boro. Come here, bro. This is brutal. That's so brutal. Wow. What happens when you complete all the challenges? Get a reward? Get up there, bird. Scout for me. Horn guy. Okay. I'm guessing since we're learning about stealth, this is supposed to be a stealth mission. Ooh! Damn! Oh wow! Bro, that was some like WWE stuff right there. Straight up some WWE stuff. Go, bird. Fetch me that scroll. Did you fetch me the scroll? Nice. Good bird. Is there anything up here? Gotta go up here. Oh, I fell down. Now we gotta climb back up the ladder. Man, that sucks. Gonna hop back up here. Don't fall down the ladder again. Okay, this is definitely a stealth mission. See, I feel like that guy would see it. See, he just looked over. That's so brutal. I don't care who you are, that's, that's just brutal. What do we got in here? What we got? Another enemy. Definitely a stealth mission. I mean, we don't have to be stealthy, but I would prefer it. What is this one? No. Oh, okay. That's not what I thought he was going to do, but that's still pretty freaking brutal. Here, send the bird up there. Oh, okay, never mind. Don't send the bird up there. I knew we were gonna get spotted sooner or later. I just knew it. Well, that was the only guy that spotted us. I wonder what these guys are gonna do. Oh, oh, oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! You gonna turn around? Really? Cool. Come at me, bro. There ain't nothing you can do, cause I just snuck attack you. Ha ha! Look at me! I'm like a black panther! Ha ha! Ha ha ha! Like a black panther! Rawr! <laughs> Alright, what are you gonna do, bro? Nothing! Cause I snuck attack you! Ha ha ha! Snuck attack you! Skun! Anything hidden over here? Nada. Oop! Where's the flock of birds at? You wouldn't tell me that. Oh, they're on the ground, I saw them. Got to see a scroll. Oh, there's another scroll up there, too. Ah, no, that's not good. This doesn't matter. There isn't really any enemies around. Yeah, get this horn guy. There we go. Spotted anyway, so ha. come on, guy. I could have sworn you just had a horn. Why would you drop your horn? Why wouldn't you just whistle for more reinforcements with your horn? It makes no sense.
Okay, we're supposed to go up on that ladder. I don't know how we get on that ladder. Maybe we gotta send the bird. One of these guys. Woohoo! Ow! Why wouldn't triangle be a button? Because then you'd be able to have four targets. Or maybe that's another training thing. Ooh! That's what I'm guessing. Come at me, bro. Ow! Why you gotta hit so hard? What that? Be gone with you. Send the bird over there. So how are you supposed to get that scroll? Is there some way of getting it down? Okay, we gotta send the bird over there, I see. What was that at? Hi, I was over here. Okay, we're gonna save. Alright guys, I'm gonna have to leave this episode here. We're gonna pick up where we left off in the next episode. Cause we just saved, yeah boy! Anyway, that's it for this episode of Mark of the Cree or Cry, however you wanna say it. I'm gonna say Cree. I think that sounds better. Anyway, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to like, and don't forget to share. It'll help me out tremendously. It'll help my channel grow. It'll help me get noticed. And it'll help me try to become a full-time YouTuber. Anyway, super out. Peace.